Hi! In this video we're using Substance 3D Sampler to create a beautiful parquet floor material in minutes. Let's build this parquet floor together. We'll also explore ways to tweak and edit the material. We're using a Starter Assets Material Preset as base. They are located in the Assets panel. Let's choose the oak wood material and drag and drop it into the layer stack for a basic oak wood. I always change the random seed instead of just using the default version. Let's increase color and wood roughness variation to bring in some more variation. For a smoother surface look we decrease the normal intensity and heat range slightly. While we are at it we should rename the material and save the project. I recommend doing this from time to time. Then to control the wood surface we click on the add a layer button, typing in wood and choose wood finish. Make use of various finish types for more natural looks, different varnish types and old and raw surfaces. For this new varnished example we choose varnish and decrease the normal intensity slightly. Let's further bring in bit more fiber variation. As our final filter we use the parquet filter to turn our solid surface into parquet patterns. The presets give you a good idea of what the filter can do and are nice to use as a starting point. The old wood finish type in combination with the English Variate preset gives you for example an older brick like parquet look. It has a structured looking surface with more intense details and variation and you can use the English pattern offset parameter to offset seams. Even a parallel pattern is possible. You can always go back and forth between filters and adjust them. For our herringbone pattern we choose the herringbone clean preset and work on the proportions. Adjusting the seam settings makes it less intense. Finally we tweak the variation parameters to make the parquet more interesting and natural. Especially the base color looks better with more variation between each plank. To check the result in different lightning conditions we can choose between several different environment lights. Because this is an indoor surface, let's choose Atelier. With shift and right mouse button we control the environment rotation. Here's our final result. You can save this setup as sampler archive to tweak the layers at a later time. Use Send to to send it directly to another Substance app. Export it as SPSAR for other 3D apps and engines or just export it to texture files. There's a way to get this material into every 3D software. If you want to experiment and learn more, you can download the file shown in the video. Thanks for watching and let us know any ideas or suggestions in the comments. See you in the next episode.